But what is it about that idea or that ideology about Marxism that's so attractive to young students and to university professors? Oh, well, that's a good question. I think it goes back to the issue of inequality. And, and this is something that has to be dead seriously addressed. It's like you might say, well, why is the left wing necessary? Let, let's, let's put it that way. And so, and then a subset of that would be, well, why is the left wing attractive? Well, the left wing is necessary because inequality does spiral out of control. And so there has to be a political voice for the dispossessed. And you, you don't want people to stack up at zero, you know, where they can't play the game at all. It's a bad idea. Not only do you not, if people stack up at zero, they're too poor to get ahead at all, let's say. They're too poor to open a bank account. They're too poor to buy enough food. Like they're stuck at zero and they can't get out of it. It's a really bad scene because, first of all, that's a lot of suffering. And that's not so good. Second of all, well, at least in principle, a lot of those people might be, um, what, might have something to offer the world. Or their children might. And you want to open up avenues of opportunity to them so that they can succeed, but so that everyone else can benefit from their success. So, and then the next thing is, well, if the inequality gets out of hand too much, then the whole society starts to destabilize. Because if you get enough people stacked up at zero, especially young men, you get enough young men stacked up at zero, they think, oh, to hell with it. We'll just flip the whole board over and it'll settle in a new configuration. And maybe we won't be stuck at zero in the new configuration. So it foments revolutionary thinking. So there's lots of reasons to be concerned about inequality. And so you need a voice on the left to say, look, we got to parameterize the the tendency towards inequality so that it doesn't destabilize the entire society so that it's everybody has an opportunity to advance like yes right you need that okay so that's the technical reason for the necessity of the left and then i think it's attractive because well because young people can be resentful partly because they're at the bottom of the heap so to speak they're not because they're young like look you want to be you want to be poor in 18 you want to be rich in 80 which are you going to choose? Most well, people are going to take poor at 18. Well, yeah. <laughs> Especially if you've been rich at 80 and you understand you can get back there. Yeah, well, that's the thing, you know, is that most of the people who are have a million dollars or more in the United States are old. Well, why is that? Well, <laughs> really, do we need an explanation for that? It's like you've had a lot more time to make money. How would that be? That's the explanation. So that's one of the big drivers of inequality is just simply age. But it's not obvious that the old rich people have an advantage over the young starting out people. So, so anyways, but any, anyhow, maybe you're resentful and irritated because you're young and you're still at the bottom of the heap and, you know, you've got other problems too. It's more difficult for people of your race or ethnicity or gender, at least you think it is. And so you say, well, I want to make things fair. And then that's also driven by some real compassion because nobody really likes that, the consequences of radical inequality. Like, nobody likes the fact that homeless people exist and have to go to the emergency ward, you know, to get treated, and they don't have medical coverage, and they have to live in tents on the street. And so if you have some compassion, then you think, well, we've got to do more for the poor and dispossessed. It's like, okay, that's, that's an understandable sentiment. But the problem is, is that the people, but the problem is, is that it's that, 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 Desire to help is contaminated by resentment and ideological certainty, and then also by something that George Orwell pointed out so nicely in his book, Road to Wigan Pier. It's like the typical middle-class socialist, this was his diagnosis, and he was a socialist, by the way. His diagnosis was the typical middle-class intellectual socialist doesn't like the poor. In fact, they don't want to have anything to do with the poor. They're contemptuous of the poor, but they hate the rich. And I think it's even more devious than that because I think who they hate are the successful some of the successful are rich but really who they hate is the successful it's it's like Cain and Abel it's the retelling of Cain and Abel and so there's some positive motivations for being engaged on the left and there's a lot of negative motivations as well and the people who are really driven by the radical left ideology the real radicals they're almost all driven by by resentment and hatred